clean the medium uh, and the hood is already cleaned and I already uh, replaced the um, vacuum pump mm -hmm. and I already know the settings as well of course you have to um, press up yeah and because the window first has to be open so you can press the green button yeah it's important and then with cleaning we start from back to uh, the front side of the hood that, that has been all prepared already so everything that goes inside the hood needs to be uh, ethanol sprayed. Yeah. Especially the medium. And, um, and the medium trips in and EBS. So when you work in the hood side. Maybe as a reminder already, put this is the plate quite central mm -hmm. because um, that's better because here the air still goes through because it's like a circulation. So you still have to risk it that there's a mixture of you know, the airflow from here and this is the clean air. So yeah. if you make sure that you um, handle from the old handling here, um, it's clean air. And then also prevent that the airflow that goes like this is blocked. So that's why we keep all the plastic at this side and the at this side. And um, also you want to prevent a lot of uh, cross uh, um, movements because yeah. it disturbs the airflow. Okay. So make it um, uh, so don't put all your pipe plates there. Boxes there, the boxes that you need you put at this side. And then um, you prevent too much movement in the mm -hmm. airflow. Yep. Um, oh yeah, also what you need to check before, but you already did, like if there's enough of your hard tips here and in the drawers, but that's all good. Okay. So the medium we use for the E0771, so these are the E0771 cells are um, RPMI plus FBS plus Pensler. And then we always write down the dates and make. This step you of course don't need to do because the elephant should already be ready for you. Mm -hmm. um, just make sure when you start that um, it's already. You should have enough and if not I can refill it for you. So this is an example video for if you have growth curves. So then, um, well we already checked this also put them here but ideally you will prepare the plastic before that you need yeah. for starting. But we already have them here, so we need a um, collection tube for mm -hmm. medium. Yeah. Medium of E071 cells always need to be collected because yeah. there's a mixture of adherent and suspension cells. Mm -hmm. Now we work with one cell line, but it's always good to have it to label what will be inside the cells, but in tubes. Yeah. And we work with POK for uh, wild type. Um, I also write it down now, but because maybe later at growth but you will have your um, POK for 6 or 8 as well, or green and red. And if you want to do that at the same time, um, yeah, you need to make sure that you can distinguish the, uh, the tubes after centrifugation. Um, I already, um, I'm not completely open, but I just slightly open um, the tubes before start because it's just easier. No well yeah. And uh, then we also need a new 6 well plate. By the way, the labelled one on the plate is 608. Oh yeah, this was our practice. Okay. Very sharp. <laughs> Thank you. But um, yeah, just make sure whatever you have to call it to and what you're going to spit, that it's um, right from the label. Oh, yeah. Another thing you might notice would be keep the stocks we use just here. And yeah. Use them well. Try not to have them to open too much. For example, you put this like this, yeah. and then later we will tape it and put it back on and stop your name Okay. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going to show an example of how to split these. Um, one more thing for your growth first, to bear already, is the um, counting site, yeah. which you can find here. And the tubes. Um, Tubes are autoclaved to be really clean, and here are some uh, stocks. 
So okay. if that runs out, also let me know. Yeah. Um, so we will prepare this further in the trips and stuff because we have some time then as well, right? It's yeah. A, it's just normal. Okay, so first when starting, you collect median. Um, in this case, there's just two ml. So you, um, if there's like uh, volumes like one or two ml, you could either use P1000 or um, the okay. Black and Boy gun. Yeah. Um, but to make sure that they really aspirate on the medium, I find the 6 well plate quite helpful to use a P1000. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have the P20, which is for 2 to 10, 20. You have to pay attention that this um, red number is, um, I say, for example, 9.4, 9.3, and not 9.2. Yeah. So that's a, that's a different I think, of the P20 compared to P1000. Yeah. Whereas here, P1000, the, the red number means that you reach 1 ml. Okay. All the pipettes we have are the P2, so only pipette then if you need 0 0.2 till 2 microliter, and the P200 mm -hmm. from 20 till 200. Okay. Um, if you go beyond those numbers that are meant for the pipette, you might break it. So really just use the range that is indicated on the pipette. Yeah. Okay, so as I said, we walk in the center, we make sure that the airflow will continue, and then you tilt carefully the plate and pipe it up. The medium. As you can see with the P1000, it's really nice just to make sure that you take up all the all the cells. So here, inside the medium, this would be the the swimming or suspension cells. Yeah. And the closer to the medium, it's done. Then, um, in all the steps, you should not wait too long because cells don't like to be without any liquid. They will dry out and then they can die. So um, PBS is added to wash. Yeah. But we want to prevent that we wash off cells. So at this stage, you pipe it at the wall side. Carefully, but also not too slow, because what is it? you want to have a balance of any fluid, liquid, then it does not pipe off the cells. Yeah. Swirl around a bit. And um, always when you're finished with one tube, just put the lid on. And by moving them out of the Good, always check if it's yeah to um, prevent spillage. Yeah. So aspirator can be used now. Um, open inside the hood. Yeah. Um, find the, the area where there's not the tip because you want to keep the, the tip clean. Yeah. So you can just open like this, mm -hmm. uh, not fully. So then keep this clean. And all the plastic you can just leave on the side, you will clean up later. Yeah. And aspirate off the PBS. So that was the washing step. Yeah. And um, now we use uh, trypsin, and for E071, it's a 0.05% trypsin. Yeah. And um, for 6 month format, we use 250. It's not like a strict number, but it's just um, enough to cover the cell and also easy because afterwards we will add 750 to make one ml and that's half for the counts. Yeah. So it is um, stick to 250. And in this case, you can actually add in the center of the well. Yeah. yeah. Um, then you move the tip here, but you don't put the, the bucket too far in the bin. You just want to keep it clean. So it's like this. Okay. Yeah. Um, we close this again because we don't need it after anyway. And um, well, just make sure it covers the well, and then uh, we will set the timer for five minutes. Yeah. This goes in the incubator, mm -hmm. and this goes in the centrifuge for twelve hundred RPM minutes. Make sure you find the right balance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like this. And then always check if they are opposite of each other. Yeah. Not like this opposite, but like. Huh? Yeah. Um, settings are usually okay, but just double check. And then when you press start, just check if the speed goes up.
So meanwhile, you can check if you have other things to prepare. Mm -hmm. That's where you can find the thing. Okay. Uh, so yeah. What you also can do in the meantime is uh, labeling cells, farewells. So we have the E0, 7, 1, okay, 4, 6, or 8, and this date. For this uh, 6 update, it's helpful to um, write on the side. Yeah. And also, um, here, because if in case you mix up a bit later, if you have more place. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't mind. Any time best for you guys. I'll I think come. if you tell us uh, timing. Okay, so we're back after crystallization and um, we can aspirate the medium off. If, if we, in case we sometimes we use the cells also for um, ELISA, we have here uh, a tube that we can collect in the Yeah. But um, first things first, and I will, because the timer is now ready for crystallization. So it's okay if you have your waste tube. The first thing you should do is make sure that you inactivate trypsin. So that's why we add um, medium to the cell. Yeah. And just add it and then you, know, you can do the collection and stuff later, but then at least the medium is in the cell. So that's really important um, to do for us. On a note, if, if you always doubt, like if you touch, for example, a tip on the side or something else, just replace it and um, yeah, be really careful with not mixing up samples. If you doubt that your tip has been in another tube or anything, just um, take a new one. It's better just to replace than to risk contamination. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so, okay, then continue with this part. So, always check if you can clearly see the pellet. And uh, well, we didn't put it in the movie, but what we also do, of course, after trip sensation is check if the cells actually did detect. Yeah. You can see by eye or just uh, check on the microscope. Yeah. Get rid of all the minutes, much possible, because otherwise you risk get taken off the pellet. If you leave something like this, it's okay. Yeah. Um, so then I just put this on the side not to confuse anything that's erased waste you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so here we have 250 microliter trips in. We add it directly to 750, so we should have a total of 1 ml. Yeah. And that's convenient for the counting later. Because then what we will get on the counter side will be uh, exactly uh, what we have. It's, it counts the cells per ml. So what you usually do is um, up and down like one about ten times. But also you know, like this along the side to make sure that you collect all the cells also in the corner. Yeah. And from uh, this side. So 
and to prevent bubbles, you will always maybe have some, but just to prevent that you have too much because you will lose cells by too much bubbles. Mm -hmm. um, there are some tricks. So one of them is like you already pipe it up to here. Yeah. And then put the pipe tip inside to prevent that you put air inside your liquid. And then the other trick is just to keep always a bit of liquid inside your pipe tip because then you also prevent uh, uh, pressing air into the liquid. So after the suspension, collect here. And what we still need to mix is the pellet with the rest. So you have your suspension cells in the pellet and these were the adherent cells after fractionalization. Mm -hmm. So again mix, like about 10 times. The same trick to avoid bubbles. So this is now your in one ml you have all your cells collected from this, both the suspension and the adherent cells. Yeah. Um, for counting, we prepared the tube with uh, micrometer carbon blue. Just check again if you have the right prepared, so keep 10. Um, oh yeah, another thing just to keep in mind, you don't have to press too hard in the pivot box, that risk the breakage of pipettes. Yeah. So, um, this about that and throw a bit around and then it should be firm enough. Okay? Yeah. Um, so if you left it again for some time, pipe it again, but we just resuspended it before taking out uh, 10 microliter. So the 10 microliter then will be mixed with your 10 microliter shotgun blue. Pipe it up and down like about 10 times, throw around it to make sure that you mix it well. And then the counting side, you, yeah, you can really put this, um, the pipe tip inside this half moon shape, and you see that the cell suspension was put over the counting side. And, and yeah, then the count is ready for counting. Okay. So.